Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a first impressions review on the new Pure Cosmetics Bear It All Foundation. This is the package that I got in the mail the other day and it has the entire shade range here. There are 10 shades, as you can see. I haven't done a first impressions foundation. I haven't done a first impressions on anything in a while. Actually, no, I did a drugstore first impressions, but I just wanted to kind of test and wear this foundation and just see what I thought. You guys know in my tutorials, I always use IT Cosmetics CC Plus. I haven't found anything that really compares to that. So when this came out, I thought maybe this could be an, a nice alternative to that. So I figured I would give it a try and put it to the test. In addition to the foundations, they also came with these two brushes. There is a foundation brush and a concealer brush. I'm sure you've seen these by other companies. They make them, but I'm going to be testing out the foundation brush on camera and the concealer brush off camera today. I'm just gonna give you a few details about the products. The foundation claims to be 12 hours. It's a four-in-one skin perfecting foundation that conceals, perfects, performs, and energizes. It is vegan friendly, gluten-free, paraben-free. And basically it says that it has skin care benefits. So it's a combination of green tea, ginseng, and B vitamins, and it stimulates the skin's metabolic renewal process. I love that. I love makeup that also is good for your skin. It also says that there's a serotonin complex that helps smooth, firm, and lift the skin's appearance for an ageless complexion. I don't know. Does my complexion look ageless right now? <laughs> Both brushes have synthetic fibers. They work well with creams, powders, bronzers on the face and the body. And basically, it says that it's going to apply the product faster and more evenly without streaking and you just apply the makeup directly to the brush and you use long strokes. So, we are gonna test these out. The foundation is $39, the foundation brush is $28, and the concealer brush is $22. So I think those are good prices, fair prices, for all of these products, um, depending on how good they are. So we're gonna give them a test and decide what we think. So if you guys wanna see how this foundation applies, how it wears, what my thoughts are on both the foundation and the brushes, then keep on watching. Comes with this little chart with all the colors and I think I'm gonna go with golden medium and light tan because I have a tiny bit of self tanner left over on my body right now. So I'm gonna mix these two and kind of see. So when I take it out of the box, this is what they look like. They come in a tube. I'm going to just squeeze a little bit of product out onto my mixing palette. This one is the gold medium. This one is the light tan. I think a mixture of these two is gonna be actually perfect. I'm just gonna take my spatula and mix them all together. So what I think I'm gonna do is I am going to use the brush on one side of my face and a beauty blender on the other side of my face so that we can kind of see how they apply and see if it's better with the brush or better with the beauty blender. I primed my skin with the Pure Correcting Primer. I figured I would stick to the same brand, just I've used that primer and I know how it works. Now I'm just going to take our brush and I'm gonna just dig it in there since it said to apply directly to the brush. Let me get my hair out of the way. All right, so it said long strokes. really nice just a better version of my skin and it did cover most of my redness as you can see comparing to the two sides it's got really nice coverage so next I'm gonna apply with my 
Beauty Blender, and I'm just going to dip it right in. Ooh, got some in the brows. That's why I never do my brows first before my foundation, because I always get foundation in my brows. Honestly, I really like how it applied with the Beauty Blender also. It still gave me nice coverage, even with the Beauty Blender. I like it. I think it applied pretty nice. I'm going to let this dry and I'm actually going to put another layer on just so we can test out if it's buildable or not. Okay, so here is the second layer. Ooh, I really like it. Okay, so this is our extra layer. As you can see, it's definitely buildable and it's beautiful. I got it all over my lips, but don't mind that. But it does layer really nicely. So I'm gonna do the same thing with my Beauty Blender on the other side. So now with the second layer, I can definitely see that I'm getting a lot more coverage with the brush than with the Beauty Blender. Not that that's surprising because as we all know, beauty blenders eat foundation. That's what they do. So if you ever want a fuller coverage, always use a brush. And if you want a more sheer coverage, use a beauty blender. What I tend to do most of the time is I will apply a foundation with a brush and then I go over it with the beauty blender just to sop up the excess product and just make a nice smooth finish. But for the purposes of this video, I just wanted to see the two side by side and we can clearly see that the brush side is definitely giving me a fuller coverage than the Beauty Blender side. But they both look really good, I think. And it looks like my skin. It's very, it's very dewy, but not in a greasy way. Okay, so I am going to go and do the rest of my makeup and I will be right back. Okay, so I've got my makeup on and I have to say that I really do like the finish of this. I like the way that it looks. I think my skin looks healthy. It doesn't look too cakey or anything. It has a luminosity to it, but it's not greasy. Um, so it really does look like skin, in my opinion, right now. But I'm going to wear it throughout the day and I'm gonna check in with you guys and let you know how it is wearing. It does claim to be 12 hours. I don't think I'll have it on for 12 hours because right now it is 2.10 in the afternoon. I'm not gonna be up until two in the morning tonight, but I will wear it as long as I can throughout the day and check in with you and let you know how it is wearing and what I think about it. And then at the end, I'll just let you know my thoughts and yeah, I think that's all I have to say. So I'm gonna go run a few errands right now. I'm gonna go to the bank, I'm gonna go to the post office and just like dumb errands and I will check in with you in a bit. Okay guys, so it is 5.48 p.m. It has been almost four hours that I have had this foundation on and I've been out, I've run errands, I've been out and about doing stuff and here's what I've noticed so far. It looks pretty great everywhere on my face but right here around my nose, it's starting to break up a little bit. You can see some of this redness coming through right here. And I've noticed a little bit of cake around the edging of my nose. It wasn't caked like that earlier and I didn't, I don't think I rubbed anything right here. Aunt Flo is in town and when she visits, she brings with her nose redness, which is really sweet and thoughtful of her. So that's an issue right now but I feel like a foundation should handle that for me. And this one is just starting to give me some trouble. So I'm gonna go do some cardio and I'm gonna see how this kind of handles the sweating and whatnot. I wear my CC Plus doing cardio all the time and it 
holds up for me. So I kind of want to check this one out and see how it compares to that and if it can withstand a workout. We could say this wedding isn't fair to the longevity of the foundation, but let's be realistic. We sweat, right? So I want to know, can this foundation hold it down for me through my workout or not? So when I get back from working out, I am going to check back in with you and let you know how it's going. So it is 10.55 p.m. and we're a hot mess. Uh, I'm in my PJs and I am getting ready for bed, but I've been sitting on the couch editing and I did do cardio and I just, I actually was going to wash my face and I almost forgot to sit down and do a wrap up of the foundation and how it did. Um, first off, I don't know if you can see this, but it's definitely caked up around the nose and it's broken up even more. It's all broken up right here over here and down in the chin. I feel like the areas where I have a little bit of oil production is where it broke up the most, but I don't tend to have really oily skin. So I feel like if you did have really oily skin, this would probably be 10 times worse the way it did break up. And I didn't sweat that much. I wasn't like a sweating pig. I sweat a little bit, but no more than I do when I wear any other foundation. So mm, I'm not giving it a pass for that one. Um, I mean, I would say I give this foundation a B plus because it claims to be 12 hours, but I have had it on for nine hours and it's a hot mess right now. Like I wouldn't want anybody to see me and I haven't touched it up I did pull my lashes off because <laughs> like I said I was getting ready to go to bed and um, I needed to sit down and film this real quick so I am in my jammies um, so I'm gonna go wash my face and get this off but I did just want to sit down and let you know that it's a B plus it's not 12 hours it's not terrible but it's not everything it claims to be in terms of long wearing. The skin benefits, there's no way for me to be able to test that except for continually wearing it, and I will. This I think this is a foundation that I'll wear for like every day, just running errands, running around, doing stuff. And if I was going somewhere during the day for a few hours, but I wasn't you know, gonna be out for a long period of time, I would definitely wear this foundation. I will say I love the brushes. I think the foundation brushes were amazing. The concealer brush, amazing. So those I definitely, definitely love. I am gonna try them with other foundations to see if I still like the way that they apply and everything. But for now, I definitely give the brushes an A and the foundation gets a B plus. A B, a B, we'll give it a solid B. So that is it for my first impressions of the Pure Bear It All Foundation. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and follow me on social. I am on Snapchat, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. My handle is Zach Lim Latte. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!